Maybe you're like me, want to be full of fearless faith, but too often doubts come in. Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. I want to have faith. I want to believe for what God can do in my life, but invariably I'll have doubt come in and then feel guilty about it. Maybe you do the same thing. I want to encourage you today with two stories and let you know that God works despite our doubt. In, uh, where is it, Mark the ninth chapter, there's a story of a man who had a son who was, had seizures frequently. And he came up to Jesus, let me find it real quick. <clears throat> and he came up to Jesus and he said, if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. So he's basically questioning God, if you can do anything. And God says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. And immediately the man cried out, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. And that's the way I am many times, many times you are too. Yes, I believe I have faith, but yet help me believe because I have doubt way too many times. And the result is God understood and healed his son. Then go over to Luke, the fifth chapter, great story of Peter and his disciples. Jesus had just finished preaching and he asked the disciples to get into the boat and push off into the lake and throw out their nets. Here's what Peter says. Uh, when Jesus asked him to do it, he said, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I'll let down the net. That doesn't sound like a lot of confidence. It doesn't sound like a lot of faith in Jesus, does it? Peter was full of doubt. The past had told him there will be no fish out there. Jesus knew something he didn't know. Jesus had already begun to send that school of fish to where that boat was going to be, even though Peter couldn't see it, right? And so we know the end of the story. The minute they put their nets in the water, full of fish, so much they could hardly pull the nets in, and the boats began to sink. So my word to you today is, don't focus on your doubts. Focus on the faith that you have. God said if you have the faith like a mustard seed, you can do anything. So don't focus on your doubts today. Focus on your faith and allow God to do what he needs to and wants in your life. Pray that that helps you today. God bless. Thanks so much for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.